Hello everyone, I am Sanjay Gupta. I welcome you on Sanjay Gupta Tech School. In this video, I am going to discuss about a scenario based on trigger and test class. So let's understand the trigger scenario that I'm going to implement along with its test class. So the requirement of the scenario is when account phone is updated, then we need to populate accounts phone number on all related contacts in home phone field. So in short, if account record phone is updated, so you just need to update all the related contacts and uh, on contact, we have variety of phone fields. So we just need to update home phone field. And I will be demonstrating this uh, scenario with the help of map. So we can implement this scenario with two ways, like uh, either we can use map or we can use parent to child SOQL. So in this video, I will be using map. And in another upcoming video, I will be demonstrating the same scenario with the help of parent-child SOQL. So we need to implement trigger as well as trigger handler. And also I will be writing the test class for code coverage. So as you can see, we need to update the account. So the trigger will be implemented on account. So I'm jumping to developer console. I'm going to open the resources. So on account, I already implemented a trigger because I already demoed many of the examples. So here you can see uh, some of the functions are called like update rating, copy billing to shipping, create contact or opportunity. So these are for insert. Then uh, we have two uh, options like is before, is after. Now here uh, we need to apply this trigger on update because we are updating the account. So we need to implement the trigger dot is update part. Now we need to decide whether to go for before or after. So we will be updating account and then we need to update the related context. So after update will be better because we will be working on the related record. So here, first of all, I'm just adding after update event. So now this trigger is having four events before insert, after insert, before update and after update. Now here I'm writing else if, and then trigger dot is after, and then it's block will be available, right? So I'm just copying the statement. I'm going to paste it here. And uh, method name will be update related contacts. And then I will be passing trigger dot new and trigger dot old map. So trigger dot new will be having the new state of the records. Those are updated and trigger dot old map will be having the old state of those records, which are updated. So the same record will be available in trigger dot new as well as in trigger dot old map. And uh, as in previous videos, I uh, already explained like uh, this trigger dot new is basically a list. And trigger dot old map is uh, basically map which will be having key and value pair. Now I'm going to open account trigger handler where I will be implementing the business logic. So here you can see lots of methods are already implemented. So now I'm going to implement one more method inside this. So I'm just going to copy this name and here I'm going to implement it. So public static void and then method name. And here I just need to write this. So we are passing trigger.new and trigger.old map. So trigger.new will be received in this ACC list and trigger.old map will be received in this old ACC map, right? So this way I'm saving this code so that here uh, we will be able to save the trigger because it is showing error. Now it is saved successfully. Now we need to focus on the implementation of this part. So I'm going to implement this method so that you can understand the business logic, like how if account is updated, uh, like if accounts phone is updated, so how we can update the related contact. And uh, we will be implementing uh, this method uh, for bulk account 
uh, records. Like if you update bulk accounts through data loader or some other tool. So in that case also your code should work. So that is why we are just receiving list of account in this ACC list, uh, which will be having new state and old state will be available in this old ACC map, right? So if you update more than one account record, so the logic will work for uh, those records properly. So now I'm going to create list of contact. And then I'm going to create a map. So map of ID comma account. So ID will be key and account will be value. So I'm naming it as ACC to account map then equals to new map of ID comma account. So this way I created two variable. One is of type list and one is of type map. Now I'm going to iterate on this ACC list. So ACC list is containing all the account records which are updated and this ACC list will be having the new state. Now, I'm going to check ACC.phone if it is not equals to null. So if account phone is not equals to null, then only uh, we uh, wanted to update. And uh, apart from this condition, we also need to check whether account record is updated due to phone field updation, right? If it is updated due to any other field updation, in that case, we don't need to run our code, right? So here I'm going to check acc.phone. So acc will be having values from this acc list and acc list will be having values from trigger.new. So trigger.new will be passing the new state of the record, new state of the updated record. So you can assume like this ACC.phone is having the new value of that updated record phone value and the previous value, which was already uh, there on that record. So that you can receive with the help of old map. So what you can do, you can just write old map, sorry, old ACC map dot get, and then you can pass ACC dot ID and then you can have dot phone. So this way, like this is the name of the map, then through map, if you want to get the value, so you just need to call the get method. And uh, to receive particular value, you just need to pass the key. So this acc.id will be the key. And uh, through this, the value which will we will be receiving, so I just need phone field, right? And after that, I am just adding one more and that will be for like null check. So I am applying old ACC map not equals to null. So if it is not null, then only uh, it will be performed. So anyhow, if you uh, don't write this, then also uh, this method is already called inside um, after update. So it means uh, like if record is updated, then uh, anyhow, old account map won't be null. But still, if you want to write this condition, you can. Now inside this, if uh, we can just fill this map. So if all these conditions are true, so ACC to account map dot put, then ACC dot ID and ACC. So if account phone is not null and account phone like new value is not equals to old value. It means record is updated due to phone value. So in that case, uh, that account ID and account record will be added into the map with the help of put method, right? So all those account records will be available in this map. Now, after this loop, what we need to do, we need to apply a for loop. Right. So before applying this for loop, what we can do, uh, we can apply a null check. Like uh, if this map is blank, if there is no account record, in that case, we don't need to perform any other logic. So I'm just writing if, then I'm copying this map and applying size greater than zero. So if this map size is greater than zero, then only uh, we need to implement the further logic. 
So now uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to query the related contacts, right? So I'm just writing for loop here, contact con colon, and then I'm going to write SOQL. So select ID, home phone, and account ID from contact where account ID in, and then I'm just pasting the map dot key set, right? So this map is having ACC ID, like account IDs in the key part. So if, if I want to fetch all the keys, so I can just use key set method. So this key set will be giving all the keys. Uh, those keys are account record IDs. And if those account record IDs, like uh, they if they matches uh, with account ID field that is available on contact. So all those contacts will be queried, right? So now inside this loop, we need to implement the logic. So here I'm writing if condition, then pasting the map. So if map dot contains key, then con dot account ID. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to check whether that map is containing the queried contacts account ID. Like if contact is uh, linked with particular account, so that account ID should be available in this map. If it is available, then what we can do, con dot home phone equals to then that map dot get con dot account id dot phone so this way through that map we are getting the value basis on this key that we are passing as con dot account id and the returned values phone field we are just going to assign into this con dot home phone so this way the particular contact which is available in this con variable is updated now i'm going to add that contact into this con list Right, so this way, with the help of map, we are trying to update phone home phone field of the particular contact. So one by one, each contact will be iterated, and that contact is particularly linked with uh, account. So that account ID we are just searching in this map if it is available. So that contacts phone, sorry, that account phone we are just populating on uh, like contact home phone, and then we are adding that uh, contact to contact list. So this way, this loop will be iterating. And after completion of this process, I'm just applying if condition for con list. So if con list dot size is greater than zero, then I can just write update con list. So this way, the business logic is implemented, right? So I just saved this code. Now I am jumping to the UI and I'm going to open a account record. So I'm going to open account record where a contact is already related. So here you can see two contacts are available, right? And if I go to details, I'm going to update the phone field value. So here you can see phone is having 312-596-1000. So last, I just updated zero to one and I'm going to click on save. Now I'm moving to related and if I open this contact, so I just need to check the home phone field. So here you can see home phone is having that updated value, right? If I go back and open another contact, so if I go to details, so you can see this context home phone field is also updated. So this way, this code is working fine. So uh, now, uh, we just need to implement its test class so that we can see like uh, through test class whether this uh, code is working fine or not. So I'm going to open the test class now. So in the test class, we just need to create the data. So we need to create account records. We need to create contact records. So here I'm going to write the test class. So first of all, at the rate is test. Right, so here you can see uh, various methods are already implemented uh, to cover other functionalities. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy 
some code from here. So I'm copying this piece and I'm going to paste it here. So update related contact test, then we need to create sample data for account. So five account records will be created. And here I'm going to populate phone field value as well. Okay, so five account records will be created and they will be added into ACC list. Then I can just write insert ACC list. Okay, now if I go, <clears throat> so in your projects as well, if you have uh, test class already implemented, so you just need to search whether the data is already available there or not. So I'm just trying to search whether uh, somewhere contacts are created or not. So I am unable to find that. So no problem. I'm going to create contacts. So I'm going to iterate on this account list. So account ACC, then ACC list. So one by one, each account will be available into this ACC. And uh, before moving forward, I'm going to create a list of contact. Con list equals to new list of contact. Now here I'm going to create new contact. And uh, here last name is required. So I'm just going to populate account name as last name. And uh, I just want to link this account with the so I want to link this contact with account. So con dot account ID equals to ACC dot ID. So this way, this newly created contact will be linked to the account. Now I can just add this contact into this list. Right. So this way, each account will be having one related contact. Now after this, I'm writing insert on list right and what you can do you can just write start sorry test dot start test and here you can write test dot stop test so uh, these two statements we use so that fresh governor limits will be available for uh, this particular test method okay so after inserting this on list now I'm going to update the account records. So I'm going to implement this loop again. And I'm going to update the phone values with six, five, four, three, two, one. Right? So once I will be updating the phone value, then I just need to query the related contacts. And if contact home phone is having the same value, it means our logic is working fine. So on this update ACC list, trigger will be working automatically. So after this, I will be querying contacts. So list of contact updated contact list equals to select ID, home phone from contact where okay so where ID I'm just going to query only one record so where ID equals to on list of zero dot ID Right, so first contact I'm just querying and I'm going to apply system.assert equals now. So here I'm going to check expected and actual. So expected is this. 
and actual is available in this updated con list of zero dot home phone, right? So we queried contact into this list. So uh, in this list on zeroth index, uh, that contact record will be available if its phone is equals to this value. So it means on account update, related contacts home phone is updated automatically. So I'm just saving this. Now I'm just opening this and here a test will be performed. So I'm just clicking on run test. So we just need to focus on this method, update related contact test. And uh, here you can see total nine methods executed because in this test class, nine methods are available as I demonstrated lots of scenarios in the previous video. So you can just find them. And uh, here you can see update related contact test. So it is, it is available at bottom and it is passing. So it means our business logic is working fine uh, as we implemented test class here, right? So this way, if you want to uh, like test your Apex code, so always remember one thing whenever you try to implement your test class. So you need to create data in bulk and on bulk data, you need to apply the operation. If uh, your code is working fine for bulk data, it means it will be working fine for single record as well. So here you can see, like I updated all the account records, which I created. And for testing purpose, I randomly picked one contact, right? So if you want to check other contact records, so you can just query them and you can apply assert equals. So that is also possible. So this way, I hope you understood this uh, scenario that I implemented with the help of uh, trigger and test class. And you saw like I, I just implemented this uh, business logic with the help of map. So in my upcoming video, the same scenario I will be implementing with the help of parent child SOQL. So there I won't be using map. I will be using parent child SOQL. So in that case, like we will be using nested of loop. So you have both the options. If you want to reduce complexity, you can prefer map. And if you, if you don't want to use map because map implementation is a little bit complicated. So if you want to go with parent child SQL, so that is another option. So, uh, keep, so uh, keep watching these videos because these are related to trigger scenario and test classes, which will strengthen your Apex trigger and test class skills. So this is all in this video. So in upcoming video, I will be uh, posting the same scenario with parent to child SOQL. Thank you.